Good day, guys. Welcome back to another episode. On the weekend, me, Robert, Nate, and Misha went out and got ourselves a wicked muddy. And what I'm going to do is I'm down the beach here tonight. I'm going to cook him up on the fire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook him up in a beautiful butter chili sort of recipe. So hope it tastes good. For now, while I set up this camp fire and stuff for you to cook it on, have a look at the footage. It was an absolute unbelievable get by Robert. So check it out. Hope you enjoy it. You. Bad one. Nice work, Coatsy. Nice, quick, easy. Look. He's got a few barnacles, see on his. Uh... Oh, there he's got a ball. Looks good. Good size. Welcome back guys, hope you enjoyed that footage. So I've dug myself a little bit of a hole down here. Just sitting to go grab myself some little sticks, a little bit of kindling to start off and some bit bigger stuff. Wait for that to get coaly as usual and then we're gonna put the pot on top. How I'm gonna cook is I'm gonna put a fair bit of butter and some chilies and a little bit of garlic straight in the pot, put the crab in. I'm gonna clean that first, so I'll show you how to do that. And then chuck that in and sort of steam it in the butter and chili. And then you've got a beautiful sauce at the end you can dip the pieces into as well. So I'll just float around Grab ourselves a few sticks, get this fire cranking, and I'll maybe even get the drone up. It's a pretty good night tonight. It's pretty windy though, so we'll see how we go, but um, let's get started. All right, guys, so what I've done here, got this little bit of kindling. This stuff should be easy to light, and I've got some smaller sticks here as well, but unfortunately, there's actually not that many sticks around, so I've kind of chosen myself a little bit of a spot that doesn't have a whole lot of sticks, but we should be right. Got a few here. Should be enough to sort of get that fire going. So windy down here as well. 
So hopefully, hopefully we've got enough to uh, to get it going. So we've got the fire going, nice little fire. Sun's starting to set now. So what we got here is we got the mud crab that we picked up on the weekend. Massive big nippers on him. So awesome. It's pretty old. All right, should be full of meat because he's got a lot of barnacles sort of growing on him. We've got a big slab of butter here, a few chilies and a bit of garlic. So the idea is basically a sort of a chili garlic butter mud crab. What we'll do is we'll peel this bad boy clean him out, crack his nippers so we can get a bit of juice flowing into there, get rid of that shell, and we'll see how we go. Should be good. What an amazing afternoon. How good. Now to peel the crab, what you do, it's got a little flap at the back here. All right, just want to pop that, right, with your finger, roll that over, and then what you do is you sort of get your thumb, one of your fingers underneath, push down on that shell, all right, and lift it up just like that all right there we go perfect i'm going to collect all the bits and pieces in here peel off these little face parts here perfect straight in the shell so we'll keep all the you know all the guts and all that sort of stuff inside the shell so not too much mess i can easily just put that in a bag and take that home with me all right so for the nippers what we'll do i got this knife it's pretty solid what i'm going to do is just going to crack these so we can get the juices and that to sort of flow in here so just like that, all right, get the juices flowing there. Same on this side. There we go, that way the juices can roll in. All right, I've got rid of all the stuff that I don't want on this crab. Perfect. I'll take that down to the ocean, give him a nice salt water wash. That should be perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll cut up the butter and the chilies ready to put them in. Ew. That's how we're gonna cook this crab. We're basically gonna steam it. Got the lid on. Fire's cranking, should be getting nice and warm underneath there. How good. There they are, the new Hunters and Drifters stickers. How good do they look? Such a beautiful night to be down here. But Adzi here, he's been looking after the dogs for us. Cheers, Adzi. I'm gonna set up. What a spot.
it's looking pretty good. All we're gonna do is just gonna open this up, tear it out a little bit. Or do look at Adzi, give him the dagger. He can just give it a nice stir for us, mix it all up. All right, guys, it got dark here real quick, so we've got Adzi. Set his car up for me, give me a bit of light. Got all the dogs back, having an absolute grand time. Cheers for that, Adzi. Thanks for the light. It's looking good, guys. It's getting still really hot. It's cooking well, shouldn't be much longer left. It's probably been on for about, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes now, so. It smells really good. It's so hard without this light, but I definitely think that'll be cooked. Adzi, if you just want to grab that off and Chuck it over here for us. There it is, guys. Full of chili and butter. Look at this. Absolute lollipop. That's split off while we're cooking. Looks amazing. Let's give it a try. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but. Oh, that, my friends, is better than anything you can buy at the shop. Cooked fresh, down here at the beach. How good is this? What more could you ask for? Grab some of that, Adzi. Yeah, how good does that look? Smash it in your gullet, Adzi. Oh, how good. Look at this. That sun has just set as well. It's getting pretty dark here, so we might wrap it up. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out another one of our episodes. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. We love doing this stuff, getting out there, catching food, cooking it for you guys. Thanks heaps for the support, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna smash this crab. Yew!